Hello YouTube, Frendo here with a uh, video response to Lasoyo with his question about um, Mayor Bloomberg's decision to not invite any religious leaders to speak at the 10-year commemoration of the tragedy of September 11th. Um, now I've, I've read through the press release and his decision for not inviting um, religious leaders um, is something I can understand. Um, for for a perspective on how religion has been very unhelpful, do you remember this? I mean, you know, the ACLU, uh, the ACLU's got to take a lot of blame for this. Oh yeah. And I know I'll hear from them for this, but uh, throwing God or successfully with the help of the federal court system, yes. throwing God out of the public square, out of the schools. Uh, the abortionists have got to bear some burden for this because uh, God will not be mocked and when we destroy 40 million little innocent babies we make God mad. I, I really believe that the pagans and the abortionists and the feminists and the gays and the lesbians who are actively trying to make that an alternative lifestyle, the ACLU, People for the American Way, all of them who tried to secularize America, I point the thing in their face and say you helped this happen. Well, I, I totally concur. And I should also point out the extreme negativity that followed the announcement that there was going to be a mosque built near Ground Zero. So, if presented with the argument that religion is something that can bring people together on uh, the issue of commemorating 9-11, I have to say I disagree. Now, having said that, um, I do see your point, and I tend to agree with you. Um, I don't see what it hurts to have a prayer. I do understand the issue of separation of church and state, but we also have the issue of freedom of expression, um, freedom of speech, assembly, and freedom to practice religion. Um, if we're talking about some kind of a simple, non-denominational prayer, maybe two or three uh, different uh, religions offering prayers, then uh, I don't see a problem. Um, I, I support that kind of expression. Um, I have an article here um, on uscatholic.org that I'll link below. Um, they point out that as 9-11 is falling on a Sunday, there are actually going to be plenty of religious services uh, to attend. Um, the, New, the Archdiocese of New York, and this is Catholic Archdiocese, has a full schedule of 9-11 memorial events. So for anyone in the area who wants uh, to see um, prayer or to give prayers, stop by a Catholic church. They will be running all day. Um, and specifically, Lasoyo, in answer to your question of what if it's not the people who are on the rostrum, but people in the area who want to have prayer services and so forth, I say go for it. Um, if it's not disruptive, um, and if it doesn't detract from the uh, solemnity of the day, then I see no problem with it whatsoever. In fact, my thought on it is that more speech is better than less speech. Um, we get over things quicker when everyone has the ability to say their piece. But I understand not wanting to invite everyone to come to the table. Because when people come to a memorial event and they want to make it about themselves, this would be the truthers. But this would also be many religious people. That if they want to stand up and give a little speech, and make the event about themselves, their perception, their religion, and not about what happened and what the aftermath for all of us, but especially for the family members, has been, then I have a hard time um, saying that there's a problem with anyone who cuts them off at the knees.